Right now at 530, we have more on the breaking story you saw here happening on Friday night, just before 630, that small plane that crashed in St. Matthews on Breckenridge Lane. We now know the identity of the two pilots who survived after the small plane went down. Yes, and the small single engine Piper Cherokee plane made an emergency landing on Breckenridge Lane and Kresge Way. Now it left Bowman Field just before 6 p.m. Friday, but when the pilots tried to land about an hour later, that's when things turned chaotic. Our Gabriel Gonzalez has the new information on the pilots and how residents who live near Bowman Field are still talking about this even today. Gabriel? Yeah, Doug, Connie, flight instructor Evan Peel and private pilot Jessica Dye survived that crash. Evan, now in the hospital, Jessica was not injured. I spoke to some people who live near that crash site. Some didn't even know that it happened at all. Others were not even surprised. They're used to planes flying all day long. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Cherokee 5006 Whiskey, we have no throttle. We now know the name of the man who gave that mayday call on Friday just before this plane went down at a popular intersection in St. Matthews. Flight instructor Evan Peel and private pilot Jessica Dace. Dale Krigger is the owner of Kentucky Flight Training Center. He says Jessica is already a licensed pilot and was getting a checkout flight in order to fly this type of plane, a single engine Piper Cherokee. These temporary lights are now controlling traffic in the area. Steve Mann lives in the Broadfields neighborhood. He says the planes often fly close to his house. I mean, they'll come right over the house. You can see people in the windows and everything, and they're looking down at you. I mean, because they're only about 150 feet above the house, but you don't really think much of it at all. I wave occasionally. He said he's more concerned with planes taking off from Bowman Field rather than landing there. Other neighbors I spoke with told me they are not worried at all. Darrell Watson with the Louisville Airport Authority says there were just over 129,000 landings and takeoffs last year at Bowman Field. Most of those were small single engine aircrafts. Now Bowman Field is known for its flight schooling, which Darrell said there are five flight schools. While I was out there this afternoon, I saw about 10 to 15 planes in only about an hour and a half. Now, Doug, Connie, Pat McDonald, a pilot with Bowman Field, he says there are several hundred flights mm -hmm. per day.